Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today we're doing a little get ready with me with you guys. I'm going out later on and I'm also going to go through a skincare prep with you guys. Today's shout out is going to go to Babe December. Thank you so much for the sweet comment. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, let me know in the comments below or you can just leave a nice comment. We can jump into the video. I've been using some skincare from Lumen and more specifically um, products from their Nordic Sea Valor range, which I have been loving. Everything from the texture, the feel on my skin, the scent of the skincare, like I'm absolutely in love. I'm first gonna start off with the Fresh Glow Brightening Gel Mask. It comes in this really nice jelly texture and I just apply this on my clean skin. And this range overall has natural Nordic ingredients, this also has Arctic Cloudberry, which is going to help exfoliate your skin with natural, gentle AHAs. And this mask specifically is going to really help condition your skin. It's just literally so refreshing, guys. I love the smell and I have really dry skin, so this is just going to really help give a nice healthy glow. So far, I've been really liking it. I've been using it for a few weeks now. And you're supposed to keep this on for like five to 10 minutes. The Arctic Cloudberry in this range is also packed with a vitamin C, which is gonna help give you that natural glow and radiance. And it's just overall really hydrating as well. So I'm obsessed, guys. Okay, it's been 10 minutes now. So I'm just gonna take this off with a damp cloth. And then you just have to rinse it. I'm now gonna move on to the Nordic Sea Glow Boost Essence. This has to be my favorite product in the range you need this. If you're going to try anything in this range, get this stuff. It comes with a pipette and I like to just put it in my hand like this and just like tap it into my skin. This actually has hyaluronic acid so it's going to boost your skin's radiance, it's going to help your skin retain more moisture. It's got a really plumping texture which I really like about this and this is really good for all skin types. Now I'm going to use the Glow Reveal Moisturizer. This is going to give you that intense hydration I definitely need that because I have really dry skin, but it's not like greasy or anything. It's good for all skin types, but it just, again, feels so good. It's just really fresh. That's how I would describe this range and the scent. If I were to create a range, I would make my skincare smell like this. It's very like, it has that like orangey vitamin C scent and it's, it's very light. It's not over empowering, so. Yeah, I'm just making sure to apply my SPF. I'm gonna use the Dewy Glow Gel Primer just to prep my skin. So yeah, firstly, thank you so much to Lumen for sponsoring today's video. I really enjoyed using these products. So let's move on to makeup. I'm gonna do my eyebrows as always. Today I'm using the Refi Beauty one. And I have been using the Got To Be gel, but it just takes so long to dry. And then I'm gonna fill in my brows with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Black. This brow is doing my head in. It's doing my head in, always. It's always been my hard brow. Then I'm gonna use some Too Faced Born This Way concealer to clean up those brows. On a daily basis, I don't clean up my brows, but it does make all the difference, to be honest. I'll look flawless. I'm also gonna just spot conceal in some areas. I'm going to let that sit on my cheeks for a bit and I'm going to move on to eyes. By the way, have you guys watched everything everywhere all at once? Because I bloody love that film. It was so good. Like, I've never laughed so much in the cinema. Like, literally the whole room was just laughing their heads off. Then at one point I want to, like, tear up and then... I was just full of emotions and oh, the film was just so good. Like, just overall, like... Oh, the acting, the effects, everything. And just the overall message, like that nothing matters, just live in the present. I really needed that. And yeah, it's just a really good film. I definitely recommend it. I'm gonna be using this Fenty palette and I'm gonna grab this shade here first. I don't know how it is for you guys around the world, but in the UK it's June and it's pouring out there, pouring. I have to wear a jacket. I'm gonna use this taupey shade in the center. It's like smoky, but not too smoky. And I just wanted something a little bit more on the natural side today, but a little bit of color, you know? Then I'm just gonna go in with some wing liner. Then I'm gonna go 
curl these lashes. This is my Huda Beauty legit lashes. I think I'm gonna pop some lashes on today. I've been obsessed with these Amazon ones that I got. What are they called? They're called flut they're Flutter Lashes in Ir Irresistible. If I can find them, I'll link them for sure. So I'm just gonna wait for my lashes to dry. So those are my eyes done. Today I'm gonna use a NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. You can tell I use this a lot, it's like already there. And the match on this is like stunning. So I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender. If you haven't tried this foundation yet, I definitely recommend it if you can find your shade because it's not easy. I've always struggled with NARS foundation shades, but this one, which is in the shade Aruba, it, it's like the closest thing. I used to wear Tahoe and then Syracuse, but they're just too warm. And even this can be a little bit darker for me but it works i feel like i should just get a paler one so i can make my own shade at this point because i really do like this foundation but aruba is a good match it's described as a cool tone foundation and i've realized more neutral neutral foundations work best on me it doesn't like appear cool tone but if i feel like if i compared it to a warm foundation then yeah it's definitely on the cooler side but it's not cool cool use some tart shape tape because I haven't used that in a while. I'm then going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury contour one. I finally got my hands on this. It blends like really really nicely. Look at that. Like you don't have to worry about any weird lines. Then for powder, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty setting powder in banana bread. Like with this. I really don't keep it on there for long. It just leaves a very flawless under eye. I'm just gonna add some color to my under eyes. And in with some of the brown. I'm going really close to the waterline with this darker brown. I'm just going to go in with some of my Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie Bronzer. I'm going to go in with this Colourpop blush in Forever Yours. That's what it, that's a bit more true to colour. I'm gonna go in with this Sugar Pie Lip Pencil by Morphe. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Heat Gloss in Hot Cherry. which is stunning. So that's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the Luma Nordic C Valor range in the info box. I'll leave links and I'll list all the products I used during this video. I'm literally just getting ready to go watch Top Gun and cinema. Um, so yeah, pretty natural look. I don't usually wear lashes, but I thought I'd, go, I'd, go, I'd do a little bit of something extra today. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe so you can join the family. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.